In this video today I will be showing you how I replaced the charge port on an iPad Pro. This is a 10.5 inch iPad Pro. As you can see inside the charge port here, a couple of the pins are, are, are missing or bent severely. A customer brought it to me, they had to, got to some stuff stuck in there and they tried to remove it and they ended up damaging the port. So I'm going to show you how I uh, replaced the, the port. First thing that we're going to do is remove the protective cover that covers the solder joints here on the uh, charge port. Carefully pull up the, uh, the piece of tape that's uh, protecting those joints. And I like to save it and reuse it if possible. Next I'm going to add some flux which will allow me to add some solder and remove it much easier. I'm going to take my solder iron and I'm going to get a good amount of, of solder on the tip and I'm going to uh, go over each joint and blow it with extra solder, making it easier for us to remove. You can do you can you can remove this with just the soldering iron, but it is easier if you have a, a hot air station to be able to remove it. I'm just gonna get it started here by making sure that the solder is flowing through all the holes there to release the connector. Next, we're gonna take some hot air and heat it up. Get that solder flowing so that we could remove the entire charge port assembly there. Next I'm going to add some more flux just to help clean up the excess solder and we're going to go ahead and smooth out all these pads and give them nice little pillows of solder. I'll go ahead and clean it up with some isopropyl alcohol here. Add some more flux so that we can attach our new charge port. I'm going to go ahead and line up the corner there and tack down the first joint and then we're going to go to the other side and light it up and do the same thing. Then I'm going to individually go over each one of these pads and make sure we flow the the uh, solder pillow that we had through the hole and up on top and the and doing so flattening out the uh, solder joints so that they have the best connection possible. I take my time here to make sure every single joint is perfect because I don't want to have any issues with any of the uh, um, the lines that the charge port controls for data, for charging or otherwise. Once I'm satisfied that I've got the pads as flat as uh, I can, I, I will go ahead and add a little bit of extra solder just to make sure that uh, um, I'm, I've been successful in every single aspect. So we'll give each one a little bit extra help, adding a little bit more solder. Now this step isn't necessary, but I, I like doing it just to be, uh, be sure visually. Add some more flux to help me do this more cleanly. All right, now that I'm satisfied, I'll go ahead and clean it up again with alcohol. clean room wipe. You can use a q-tip but that tends to leave behind fibers. Next we'll go ahead and replace that uh, the protective cover. If you, if, if you weren't successful at pulling it off you can always use captain tape. Alright we'll go ahead and we'll install it back inside the, the frame here feeding it through the uh, those uh, antennas and uh, 
uh, getting the speakers all reconnected and the camera up top. Sorry for the shakiness, I was doing this over my, my lap, so it's a little shakier than I wanted it to be. As you can see, I've got the battery connector. Uh, still disconnected with that plastic sheet there. I'll go ahead and put all the screws back after connecting every connector. Because I'm confident this will work. I'll go ahead and screw down the charge port there at the base. Make sure the battery is still disconnected as we connect the display and this display is very awkward to connect and that's why I've seen a lot of people uh, short out the backlight because if you don't connect it without if you don't connect it perfectly that first try without disconnecting the battery you'll most likely short out the backlight or kill the touch or something so you always want to ensure that you disconnect the battery on any of the iPad Pro series Go ahead and screw down the bracket that holds those down and remove the plastic for the battery and put the screw in there. We'll go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. Looks like it's charging just fine. That's enough. I'm satisfied with that. Thanks for watching. Now if you like this video, Check out some of my other videos. You know, I do, uh, like here, I'm repairing the backlight on the same type of iPad as an iPad Pro. There's a solution to that, or you can watch my videos on my the Apple Watch series. I believe this is the Series 3, 38 millimeter, uh, glass only repair. There you can see the beautiful display without the, the glass and touch screen. Or you can watch how I replace the uh, the glass or even the uh, digitizer on the iPhone X display there. I also have videos showing how to replace the, uh, the, the different connectors like this power button on this Apple Watch Series 1. And here's the watch when I've put the uh, glass and digitizer back on um, so that it, the touch works again. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, check out all my other videos. Thanks.